lucky. Sometimes you're just bloody lucky. G'day guys, welcome back to another little instalment. And uh, yeah, quick question for you. How you going? You all right? You get through it? Man, there's a lot of crazy shit going on at the world at the moment. There's a lot of stuff going on in Australia too, which, um, yeah, the, the cost of living and all that sort of stuff, the housing, and yeah, it just, it's just bananas out this way at the moment. So um, thoughts are out there with you guys. Um, I know I and my wife have moments where we're struggling a little bit here and there, and we just need to be really mindful about our spending and what we do. Um, we've got stuff that we need to spend money on, but we're holding off on doing that and um, to, so we can prioritize other things that'll come up as well. So it's very much a juggling act and I'm sure we are not the only ones. Everyone else out there is doing the same thing. So thoughts with you guys. Um, <laughs> hey, it, the, I can't support you financially, but I could support you in other ways. If you need to talk, you need to chat, whatever, hit me up on Instagram, throw something in the comments. If you've got an experience or something you wanna share, you know, let's keep the community going. Let's, let's keep talking about this, especially you apprentices out there. I know you guys aren't on the best wages and stuff. It does get better, but um, yeah, work your way through it as best you can. Try and find your support where you need to um, through government or, or whatever, friends, family, that sort of thing. Find a job that, you know, hopefully will supply tools for you. If you can't afford a tool, have a chat to your boss, see if he's got something that you can utilize instead. Um, but yeah, try and get some handy me down so other trades people that sort of thing. A lot can be said for secondhand gear and if you need to, if you can get it and you can use it and it's still half decent, then go for it guys, like definitely. Um, the other little thing that I have been struggling with, I, I got my tax done in July and I still haven't gotten it back. I was requested to supply more additional information on my expenditures. So mainly, i.e. travel, okay? It wasn't so much on tools, it was more so about having a vehicle and having tools in the vehicle and how legitimate I was um, using, classing this as a work vehicle and, and claiming that percentage that I had. So I had to obviously supply all receipts and everything, which is all legit, that's fine, that's all it is, is. But something I found was interesting is I had to supply a letter-headed document from the company I work for, all right, with a description of my job, so a job description, and why I needed a vehicle with tools in it to do my job. <laughs> like. Seriously, like how does that even work? Like I, I, I haven't got an odd job. It's not a, a, a different um, job description that's odd or weird. I'm a carpenter, I'm, well, I'm an apprentice carpenter, but I'm a carpenter, like that's what everyone does. And yeah, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why make it so hard for someone to be out and build things and do things and to create things and, and stuff and yeah, knock you down a peg or two. So yeah, I still haven't got my tax back and obviously there's replications there with say for example our CCS, CCS and all that sort of stuff where we might get a refund from that but I can't get that which is our childcare subsidies and stuff. So we can't get anything from that because my tax isn't done yet. So yeah, we we don't have much in savings or anything. We're kind of relying on a lot of that to come through and that helps us through the next year and that sort of stuff. Like that's always been our game plan but yeah, it's, it's a holding off on us now so all I can say is, is I hope it gets to us soon and it'll give us a bit of reprieve and a bit of a buffer again to, you know, if the shit hits a fan. So, what about anyone else? Anyone else been audited this year? Anyone else struggling with that? Um, yeah, let us know your experiences. Have you had to give a, a letterheaded document? Have you ever heard of that? Giving a document with a company letterhead on it explaining your job description. Have you ever had that before? So, I'm keen to find out. Obviously, I'm employed. I'm not self-employed. I'm employed by an employer and um, all the stuff that I'm getting is tax deductible to a degree, which I don't get all the tax back. Like it, it, it doesn't happen. You get, I think it's the equivalent of a third or something. So there's a degree of money that you are self-investing in your career and your job and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, <sighs> fun and games. <laughs> To be honest, that does it for me today. I've I've been flat out busy. We, we've been doing lots of stuff at work, obviously. Um, we, we've done one of our first flood houses, which is finished, done, walk away. Um, as some of you may know, the floods went through Queensland and stuff last year around December and and, and smashed quite a few houses out there. Now, it, it's such a process to get that through. I'll do a whole video on that later on just to help people out. But anyway, I think that kind of does it for me uh, today. I'm gonna to do the Bosch hammer drill video. I'm gonna do a, a fascia change out video. I've got a fascia that I need to fix up and I'll do some basic training videos too. And uh, yes, I have been slack and I apologize. I, uh, I am thinking of you guys. I hope everyone's okay out there and uh, thoughts are with you. And uh, yeah, build on legends. We'll chat again soon. All right, see you guys.